Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a first impression and review on the Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks. I'm pretty sure I have every single shade here. So I'm also going to be swatching these for you and I haven't opened these yet. It's honestly been so hard. So I'm bloody excited. So let's get started. So my hairdresser told me when these lip kits were going on sale. It said on her app, I'm pretty sure. So um, I woke up at six o'clock, like two weeks ago on a Monday morning, which was great. It was just so great waking up that early. And I managed to get all of them really easily. They sold out, ew, why is my hair everywhere? They sold out in about half an hour. So I got in like the first minute and I was like, pew, 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 got them all. Talented, I know. So first of all, let's talk about the shipping. It came in about two weeks, which I think is really good, considering how many she would have to ship out. Well, the company would have to ship out. Um, so yeah, I think that's really quick, considering it's coming all the way from America as well. The packaging is really nice. It's just super sleek and simple, which is exactly what I like. And then it has a personal touch in here. It is a photocopied thank you from Kylie, saying thanks so much for purchasing your Kylie lip kit, etc. And I love the logo. So cute. So these liquid lipsticks were $30 each, which I think is really good because it comes with a liquid lipstick and a liner. So it's basically like $15 for each one um, US as well. So when I converted it to Australian dollars, all of these products were about $400. I also got, oh my God, I just did the Australian Tries American Candy and there's like the marshmallow stuff on the lip kit. But yeah, I did get double ups of Dolce K and Candy K. So the dark nude and the light nude shade. So I will be putting that in a giveaway um, when I hit 700k. I'm just starting to collect everything now. So I have it all prepared for you guys. So yeah, let's go through the shades here. I have Coco K, which is a lightest nude. Then I have Candy K, which I guess is the in-between nude. Then we have Dolce K, which I think will be my favorite one because I love true, like deep, dark kind of nudes. Um, and then we have Posy K, which is a nice purpley shade. Um, we have Court K, which is a dark purple, a very, very bold. Um, I'm hoping this isn't patchy because I know that dark shades can be quite patchy. Um, the next one is Mary Jo K, which is a very vibrant red. It almost looks a tiny bit pink. Doesn't look very red. Let's compare it. So here it is comparing to my other reds right here. I definitely can see a tinge of pink. And last but not least we have 22 which is kind of like a ready orange shade. I think this will be my least favorite just because it wouldn't really, I don't know, it just doesn't look amazing. I have heard really good things about these products so I'm really excited to try them out honestly. I got them like two days ago. They've been sitting in my room and I'm like come on I need to film so I'm finally filming and I'm just so excited to see what the formula and stuff is like. So the packaging of the actual liquid lipstick and lip liner is amazing. I mean that is so cute. This one is Coco K. I think the packaging is so sleek and just such good quality. So I'm very happy about that. Apparently you can sharpen these lip liners. I want to see what they smell like. Oh my god. It smells really strong of vanilla. Kind of like a vanilla cupcake. Whoa, that's strong. And also the applicator is quite small. Um, so I think that'll be great for application. Alrighty, I'm going to wipe my MAC lipstick off now. This is the shade Yash. And then I'm going to start swatching for you guys. I'm so excited. First of all, I just want to say sorry about how cracked my lips are. They look disgusting, but these are so buttery and creamy. Oh my God, I just like wiped all over my finger. These are really buttery and they're so easy to apply. I would have to say that these are a lot easier than the MAC lipstick, uh, the MAC lip liners, if you guys have tried those. Oh my God, it honestly feels like a lip balm. It is that smoothing on the lips. The smell is incredibly strong. Putting it on my lips, I can just, that's all I can smell. Cupcakes. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna let it dry. So first impression of Coco K and the lip liner, it honestly feels so beautiful on my lips. It doesn't feel drying at all, which is one of my biggest pet peeves with little lipsticks because they just get really crusty on my dry lips. So usually my lips aren't this dry, but even with really dry lips, it doesn't like accentuate the crustiness of them. The color is really nice. I would have to say it's like a true pink. Um, I don't think I would ever wear anything this pink, but it is really nice if you guys do like pink lip pink lipsticks and stuff. I do just prefer like reds and nudes and stuff like that. But so far I am so incredibly impressed. Ma, 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 ma. It just feels like, it doesn't even feel like I have anything on my lips. Let's see how they feel to get off the lips. 
Oh god. They're not going anywhere. I feel like these will definitely sound for a really long time. I can still taste, I meant taste, I can still smell the cupcakes. Hmm. I'm just gonna pop some foundation over my lips. So that's what I do usually. The next shade that we have here is Candy K. I'm pretty sure this is like the middle nude color. So let's pull her out and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's about one, no, it's probably about two shades darker than the one I just tried on then. I would say if you are gonna get these, I would only get one of these because they're very similar. Okay, wow. It's going on a lot darker than the one I just put on. Oh my god, this would have to be one of the best lip liners I've ever used. Like the formula of it is it's just incredible. And I've only used like it for like one second. And I'm already saying that, like that means it's good. So let's try the Candy K liquid lipstick. I actually really do like this shade. It's more of like a mauvey darker pink than the one I just tried on. When I first looked at the two, I was like, these look really similar, but when they're on, they actually do look very different, as you can see. Uh, I would say they dry in about 40 seconds, so that's really quite quick. I'm just gonna keep you guys zoomed in. So the next one we have is Dolce K, which I think is gonna be my favorite one. I'm really, really excited to see what this one looks like on my lips. So this is what it looks like in the tube. A very gorgeous brownie nude color. Oh wow! Hmm, that comes on my lips a lot darker, I feel. That is really dark. So pretty though. Oh my god. I definitely don't own a color like this, which is saying a lot because I have a lot of nude colors. Hmm. I don't know. I actually like it. Like, it's nice, but it's not my favorite. Next color I'm trying on is 22. So this one is the orangey kind of shade right here. So let's have a little close-up. It's kind of like an off orange color. I'm really excited to see how this looks on my lips because I've never worn anything like this. Anything remotely close. Whoa. That's very, very opaque. Kind of like a pumpkin color. Please excuse my messy application. After applying like two different liquid lipsticks, I'm starting to get lazy. Wow. These are all so pigmented, it's actually insane. I feel like this smell might be giving me a little bit of a headache. Is that because I have my hair pulled back? It's like really strong. Okay, so first impression of this color, it isn't as bad as what I thought it would look on my skin tone. It is cute, but it's not something that I would ever probably pick up to wear. Oh god, if you like rub your lips, it literally does not transfer at all. This is, this would have to be 100% the best formulated liquid, formulated liquid lipstick I've ever used. I'm so impressed. Even though this color looks not that great on me. Hi. The next shade that we have here is Mary Jo K, which is the red. So let's see if it has any pink in it when you put it on your lips. I love red shades. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, it's definitely showing up really like blood red. Oh wow, it is really red. What the hell, on the packaging it looks pink. Yes, that makes me happy. Holy crap, this is so easy to overdraw because it's like so buttery, it's just like woo. Oh my God, I honestly can't get over how strong that smell is. This one's drying really quick. I literally just went like 10 centimeters over my lips when I was putting this on. But the weird thing about this was the lip liner wasn't as dark as a liquid lipstick and I feel like it might be a little bit patchy. But the color is really nice. It's like a nice deep dark red shade. It's like a true red. It's still drying. <laughs> my lips are so stained right now. Okay, so the next one is Posy K, which looks like a purpley pink kind of shade. Wow, it looks a lot pinker in the tube than what it does in the box. On she goes. Mm, I don't really like this shade. I don't know, I just feel like the other pink shades look a little bit nicer. This one definitely is a bit more deep and a bit more purple than the others. My lips look freaking gorgeous. The last one that we have here is Court K, which is the darkest purple. Yes, I can't wait. Let's do it. 
Oh my god. This is a very, very rich purple. So this is what Court K looks like. It looks amazing. I absolutely love this color. I'm just going to go over it one more time because it does look a tiny bit patchy around this area here. So I feel like the more you go over it, the darker it will get. <laughs> what happened? I just like went like that and all the color came off in the middle. That's obviously why she said I only put one layer on. So here I am going with my fifth layer. Okay, I'm not going to blot. I'm just going to let my lips dry. I would say this would have to be the hardest one to apply, obviously, because it's a dark shade. And it's so easy to see, like, the imperfections around the edges. But this would have to be one of my favorite shades. It looks so stunning with a wing liner and big lashes. So there we have my Kylie Jenner first impressions on the liquid lipsticks. I honestly, I love the formula of the liquid lipsticks and the liners. They're amazing. As I said before, the best formulated products I've ever used in my life, which is saying a lot because I have so many liquid lipsticks and liners. A lot. As far as the colors go, I think she did do a really good job with the colors and choosing them. Um, if I was a pink girl and I did like pink lipstick, then I would definitely love all the pinks in here. But I'm just not a huge fan of pink. I know she did come out with one called Exposed. Oh, that is a light nude. That's going to be out my alley. That honestly looks amazing because it's not that pink. Um, I would have to say, I don't know what one's my favorite. Probably the purple that I have on now and the red. Um, with the pinks, I don't really know. I'm going to have to play around with them a bit more. But anyways, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.